My name is Max, and I'm an engineer at Cloudfresh. Today we will consider an example of how to transfer user data from one to another user. In case when employer leaves our company. For this, we need to go to the users. And find the user what we need to delete. You can also use the search if you know his email address. We need to go to his card and choose to delete the user in quick actions item. Whenever we delete a user, Google automatically suggests what to do with the user data. And in this case, with the help of this tool, we can transfer the following services, such as Google Drive, Google Calendar, and Google Looker Studio. In order to make a transfer, we need to select the transfer option and write the email address of the user to whom we want to transfer. Next, we can choose two options for transfer and disk. For example, the first one says that we transfer all the documents that we share by our user. The second option we can include in the automatic transfer all files that were available only to this user. Google Calendar transfer options whether to transfer all events in the calendar to another user, and the Looker Studio, also which includes the ability to transfer files that have not been shared with anyone. If you want to transfer our mail, we need to use another tool, which is also included in the admin console. Here is a very important point. We need to make a complete transfer of mail before deleting the user. And only then, using this user deletion function, delete this user. Let's return to main homepage. Next, click on Data Migration. In configuration of Data Migration, in the first point, we choose the Google Workspace option. Click on Start. And the first thing what we need to choose is the period of time what we need to transfer data. That is, we choose, for example, for the past year. And this is how we do the migration, starting from the last year, at the time of the migration launch. If it is a specific date, you can choose the item custom date. Click on the calendar and select, for example, another date. By clicking on the mouse and year, you can select the year. For example, let's start the migration from January 1st of the 10th year. In additional options, we can migrate deleted mail that is in the user trash and migrate. And migrate spam emails that are in the spam folder. We can also remove some folders or files from the migration if you know how to they are written by the user and what is the user name is. We can write using a comma, but we recommend using the first two options for complete migration. Next, click Select Users, press on the Add User button. In the first line, we need to write email address of the user from whom we need to transfer data. That is, this employer who is leaving the company. You write his own email address. Important item, we must know it is password. In order to find the password, you can use his card. That is, go to user card, click on reset password and reset password button. automatically create a password 
and then copy it. Or, for example, create your own password, using it for the migration. For example, reset the password and copy the password to your clipboard. Back to our migration tool. Click Add User again, insert the password, write the email address of your user, and in the third line, we write the address of the user to whom we will transfer the data. Be sure to select this user and press the Start button. This is how we started migration, the process of transferring mail from one user to another. In status item, you can see the current status of data transferring. As it is, the initialization takes place first, after which you can see the progress, from 0 to 100%. And the status is complete if the migration has been completed. There can also be errors here, for example, as in the case, we can see that there is some problem. You can use Learn More to open Google Help and see how you can solve this error. After the migration finish, we'll need to go to our user, go through order removal steps again, click on the next, click on the delete user button. And we are all already choosing which services we will provide. Next, we understand that this employee had communication with other colleagues or customers. And we can create such rule that one day on the customer or employees writes it to an email address. And this later is delivered to another responsible employer or, for example, his manager. To create such rule, we need to go to the apps. Next, click on Google Workspace. Select the Gmail service by clicking on the name. And here we need to click on default routing. Next, we need to click on the Create Rule button or add another one. And in the first row, we indicate the email address of the employer who leaves our company. That is, the user whom we delete. We indicated his email address. In the second point, we choose the recipient of the envelope. As it is, change our route and choose the first option. Which user do we want to change this route to? I choose, for example, this user. What does it mean? All emails sent to a user with such an email address will automatically be sent to that user. In the third option, we recommend choosing the second option, which means to transfer the deliver mail to both recognized and unrecognized email addresses. Click Save. So we created a rule. Thank you everyone for the watching.